Welcome to TTBFC, Train the Brain Fit Club. Do you suffer from tight hips, lack of range of motion? We're going to show you one of our favorite stretches today to unlock the hip flexors, open up the hips. Let's get it. beautiful smiling Amanda she's going to demonstrate the standing hip flexor stretch okay so let's go ahead and get it to position she already has her shoes off now we have our shoes off because we actually use this massage table for massages let's go ahead and get the foot up there so this is a standing hip flexor stretch we're opening up the hip flexor a lot of times a lot of clients come in and their hips are locked up that's one of the first things we see when we do their fitness assessment so we want to make sure we unlock the hips so that you can perform certain movements like a sprint or a squat with better efficiency because of better range of motion. So here you want to make sure that you are in correct position to actually feel the hip flexor stretch. Even if you're doing a kneeling hip flexor stretch, the positioning of your body is going to matter greatly to make sure you actually feel the stretch where you should. A lot of times when people go into uh, hip flexor stretch, they dominate it with their quad and don't really actually open up the hip flexor. So posture, you want to make sure that your spine is straight and you're in thoracic extension with the chest up uh, and a straight back. Also, you want to make sure that your knee is over the ankle and then that your standing leg is flush on the floor and that your hips are tucked, glutes are tight, and that your core is engaged so that you get the stretch right through the hip flexor, right through here, and really open up those hips. Now, if you're not feeling a stretch, it could be because of posture, but it also could be related to the step that you're using if you're doing this style here. If the step is too low, you're not going to really get a good stretch here unless you bend your knee down towards the floor, which you could also do. Um, but if you're doing a straight leg stretch here like we're doing right here, and you're also going to get that stretch through the hamstring there. We use this stretch mostly when we want to correct... Um, the height of knee in our athletes who are, are not getting enough uh, height when they're running. So that's why we do it from this position. Now you could actually drop your leg down towards the floor. You can actually get all the way down into a kneeling position. But again, we use this mostly for our athletes and we also use it to unlock the hips for someone who's doing squats. But most importantly, when we're working on running and proper running technique, this is the style that we use for unlocking the hips. So make sure that you hold this stretch for at least 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds, and do two rounds. I'm sure that leg is getting a huge stretch. You can go ahead and switch. <laughs> I see you breathing hard there. All right. So the hip flexor stretch is definitely a really aggressive stretch. Again, we had this table set for, for Amanda's height. Did you feel that stretch? <laughs> All right. So uh, if you have any questions about the stretch, hit us up. Leave comments. Let us know. Don't forget to hit up the website. What's the website? Yeah, if you couldn't hear that is train the brain fit club.com. You can put the www on the front too. All right, mindset is the most important set. Train the brain and the body will follow. Let's get it.